if you want to just build from scratch right you want to do everything custom like you want to set things how you want you click add new row it's going to ask you you have several options here where it says import layout blocks saved items from here it's just a click away now i didn't cover saved items okay we're going to take a look at saved items later on but what this is saying is when you're starting from scratch you're not using a predefined or pre-made template you can choose the layout that you're going for i always go this route if i want to build something custom and just let my creativity just flow i just want to do something i always go this route by going this route i can choose how i want it to be and you know it gives me the layout that i'm looking for so when i put my mouse here i can also create custom columns the goal of it is this you have 12 spans so any number that you add on here has to total to the number 12. so you see six plus six is equal 12. four plus four plus four equals 12 and then three three equals 12. so the goal of it is it gives you a variety of different layout options maybe you want one section to be larger and the other section smaller like you look at this four eight the four is the left side is smaller and then the eight is the largest section now once you click on any one of this you can always drag them and adjust that accordingly let me show you so if i wanted to go well before i do that let me just put in here okay you see three nine well i can decide i wanted to do nine plus three it's going to do the opposite you know the reverse of this and i click generate it's going to generate the nine plus three for me let me do that like this so now you have the nine plus three so even when you have of the nine plus three like this what they've done is you can still adjust that and it's showing as i scroll over it's showing you the percentage and how things are shifting so i can go from a nine three i can go to a ten to a two right so now this is the smallest it's a two that you can go to and then i can come on adjust it i can do this so if i want the content to be more on the left or however you want it to be i can you know drag slide over like that's a beautiful slider okay i can do that and then so i'm going to come back here i'm going to clear this again so let's go back to where we were before so you click to add new row you can choose any one of these options here four four now it gives you one two three and in these you can add anything that you want we're going to take a look at add-ons in a minute but you can add any item that you want in one of these right here whether you can add a video you can add a text you can add you know um columns you can add nested columns you can do all those things now when you look over here you activate another nav menu so when you click on here it takes you back to the beginning now this helps for example if you already have a page right and you want to mix or you want to add something else you can add another option you can update what you currently have if i wanted to update to let's say a six three now i've changed it to that let's come back and i'm like you know what this does this, this layout i don't want it i want it to be this so as i'm clicking on there even though i'm clicking on like this i can still drag this like that and it's still going to expand so i can come and i can i can adjust it even after i set the parameters that i'm looking for so you can go so this is really great because with columns it gives you so much flexibility in terms of what you're able to do how you're able to move things and all that so let's click on here now okay so i'm going to just reset this design here let me reset it again so i'm going to reset it so we'll get back to the original so now we're back to the original okay this is what it looks like and i want to show you in real life um example how that works so you see right now i can drag this over like that if i wanted to content more on this side i can do this right you see some dragging it's moving i can scroll through any section here and i can do the same thing so this one right now is three three but i can go like this i can make section bigger i can make a section smaller and when i put my mouse over here this allows me to drag and move a console i can click on there and i can drag it anywhere on the page so that's what that does you put your mouse over you can drag it with this here anywhere on the page you activate that move but i'm not going to move anything right now i just wanted to show you guys so you go back up every section has this section thing right here so you can either change the layout so right now this top section is five seven so if i were to come in and click six six like that 
Now it's changed that to, to that. If I were to come in and say I didn't like that, I want to do 333. You notice that it's changing on that. 